God's word and spirit order will often upset our sense of order. Are we ready to have our thinking overturned? And this week's question asks us what sort of soil are we? Good growing soil or otherwise to receive the seeds of God's truth in his word? Are we like well-traveled hard footpaths that the seed of the word just bounces off? Or are we shallow soil, unthinking and with little capacity for truth to have root in us? Or are we preoccupied with our busy lives and earning enough? And that's our priority, thank you. God wants us to be receptive prime soil which can receive and germinate his word, his truth, so that it grows in us and multiplies as we share it with others. Good, let's go there. But what is to be done with the hard parts and stony gravel of our life? This is a work of his Holy Spirit, working with his word in a way that changes us from within. We start with how God speaks to us. The starting point is God's word, recorded for eternity, and that's always where we start and where we go back to. The now word that we may sense that he is speaking to us comes through the eternal word, the Bible, which Christians have been hearing, treasuring, and feeding on for centuries. Word and Spirit working in us together give us a new and Jesus-aligned perspective. Reading from the Bible, the sinful, selfish or flesh nature is always hostile to God. It never did obey God's laws and it never will. Those who are still under the control of the sinful nature can never please God. That's Romans 8, 7 to 8. We belong to Jesus by choice. It doesn't just happen. And that decision opens us up to being changed from within by the Spirit. He changes our hearts spiritually from being hard and resistant to being receptive. This is how Jesus and his Spirit takes us from poor stony ground to the most receptive prime soil where his word can grow in us, change us and make us fruitful for him. This is how we become transformed into people whose lives and not just words, are a message of the wonderful good news of Jesus and his kingdom.